but you know when people say to me do you know you hate america i don't hate america i love america i am just embarrassed that it has been taken over by people like evangelicals by people who do not believe in science and rationality it is the twenty first century and i'll tell you my friend the future does not belong to the evangelicals the future does not belong to religion and i know I, that i, would I know actually, that I would actually argue just the opposite. If you look at no. historical trends, you look what's happened since the 1960s to right now. Actually, America has become more evangelical. I mean, gosh, yeah, I mean, but you look at the Grammy Awards, and this guy gets out and he he sings raps. He raps to Jesus walks. The whole place goes crazy. A guy picks up three yards in a football game. He kneels. He goes. Up well, that, that's a, that's I another. I would say evangelicals are on the ascendancy. That's another reason why religion disgusts me because it is arrogance parading as humility there is nothing humble about somebody getting up there and saying thank you god for this award what they're really saying is thank you god for making me so wonderful and so talented but uh, that aside um, when when you were a kid and they were telling you whatever you believe in religion do you think if they had switched the fairy tales that they read to you in bed with the Bible, you would know the difference. You think if there was the fairy tale about a man who lived inside of a whale and it was religion that Jack built the beanstalk today, you would know the difference? Why do you believe in one fairy tale and not the other? Just because adults told you it was true and they scared you into believing it at pain of death, at pain of burning into hell. But uh, you if know, you ever I, were able I, I to clear I don't your... believe in Jesus. Now, I don't believe in Jesus because I think I'm going to live with angels and hearts. If you really think about it for a long time, actually, the concept of eternal life is more frightening than the concept of eternal death. I can't even comprehend eternal life. But I believe what I believe uh, because of 41 years here on this earth. And again, I mean, I respect you not but if believing you, but, in God. But, but, but I Joe, don't think that's a neurological uh, First of all, I never part. said I didn't, whoa, whoa, I never said I didn't believe in God. I said I don't believe in religion. Religion okay, is a, let's religion, say Jesus Christ. As excuse Savior. me, re, religion is a bureaucracy between man and God. There's a very big oh, difference. I can, I can agree with you. I agree with you about that, but I'm but talking Joe, about... But Joe, if you were born in Pakistan, you wouldn't, have be, mm -hmm. you wouldn't be believing in Jesus Christ right now. You'd be believing in Muhammad. So it's completely and terribly arbitrary, isn't it? You know, I, I, I wasn't born in Pakistan, Bill, so I don't know if that's the case or not. But, but uh, if you had been, you wouldn't believe, be living in Jesus Christ. You would have been well, told another fairy tale when you were a child, and you'd believe that. Well, Bill, that's your opinion. <laughs> Stick around. We'll be right back with much more. I disagree. You're watching Scarborough Country, where Jesus freaks like me hang out. We'll be right back.